Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name's Jeff Ferris. Welcome to my shop. Today, we're going to take another closer look at Woodpecker's Clamzilla. Uh, we did a deep dive on Clamzilla last week. We glossed over some stuff that some people asked about. I want to address all those questions and show you a little bit more detail about exactly how we get the stock into the clamps. All right, let's get started. Now, one of the questions that came up on the internet was, how do you adjust the tailpiece to get it to the right position? Um, now, you can take the whole thing apart and put it back together again if you want. This is what I do that saves me a little bit of time. I'm going to take my panels, and I'm going to put them on top of the clamps, and I'm going to line it up with the adjustable piece. Put this one in beside it just like we're gonna glue it up. Now, I wanna look here, and I wanna go to the first hole that is inside the edge of the glue up. So now I'm gonna set my boards aside for a second, and pull the pins. Slide this up three spots and put the pins back in. Another question that came up was, how much glue do you use and how do you spread it? Well, uh, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and I'm amazed at how much glue some people use. Uh, seems to me like most people use way more than is necessary. I just want a very, very thin film on there, even from one edge to edge. And I want to do that to both pieces. Now we're ready to load it up. Which is another question. Uh, now, uh, I believe that maybe even the owner's manual talks about taking the bars off. Uh, are loose on one end, loading them up, and then bringing the bar back over, uh, which certainly works. But I have found that I like to slide them in from the end. If I'm using three or four clamps, I can slide those in just like that. Slide my other piece in. And now I'm one step ahead of the game to finish the job. So now we just want to bring these down. I'm watching my alignment as I get everything in place. Keep the clamp relatively straight across. And my seam feels good, so we'll put a little pressure there. Now we'll do the same thing on this one. And we've got a beautiful seam all the way across. So this is a panel that's about the size of a good sized raised panel door. And you can see that with a good jointed edge, two clampzillas is plenty for that. One more question that came up on uh, comments on YouTube. How flat did our panel end up? Well, no rock no roll, and a perfect straight line along the edge. I think it's just right for the coffee table that I'm working on. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching today. To recap those Clamzilla tips, spread your glue lightly, don't get carried away, adjust the clamp by setting your panel on top and going to the first hole inside the edge, and load it from the end. Those will make Clamzilla work a lot better for you. Folks, I really appreciate you watching today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Deep Dive. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. If you'd like to see last week's episode of Deep Dive about the Clamzilla, there's a link for that right there. And if you're interested in purchasing, there's a link down below in the comments section that'll take you straight to the ordering page. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.